What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick rundown video review of the new Denon DJ SC5000 Prime Multimedia Player. So this is the new flagship big boy Denon DJ player that is aiming to take on the big other guys in the clubs and in the booths today, the Pioneer DJ flagship setup. And this is part of their setup, which is the SC5000 player. We just recently reviewed the VL12 Prime turntable and their flagship mixer, the X1800. But before we get into this review, I wanna remind you guys that this video is partly sponsored by Reverb.com, where you guys can go and check them out is where they sell and buy new used and vintage DJ equipment and production equipment so make sure you guys go check them out or click at the link at the top of this video description so that way you can buy the Denon DJ Prime and all the other DJ gear that you guys might need during your DJ career. So as we continue on, the Denon DJ SC5000 Prime is their new flagship controller. It definitely looks like it. It has a lot of new cool features that has never been on a deck before. So we're just gonna get right into it with the first obvious question is the build quality and the first impressions. And we're also gonna let you guys know how to set this bad boy up. So right off the bat, build quality is really, really good. You have a plastic rubberized kind of coating paint to the undercoating or the underbody of the SC5000 Prime. All around the top face and around the back, you have a nice metal brushed aluminum style surface. It's not too, too heavy because they don't have a CD slot in the front. And in order to put in your different files, you have an SD card slot on the front, along with a USB port on the front as well. And that's also recessed underneath, as you guys can see. Some people have complained that they weren't able to easily eject and put in new USB sticks or SD cards, but I haven't had any issues with that whatsoever. And also around the back, you have a lot of cool inputs and outputs. This is a dual layer deck, meaning that you have two decks inside of one unit. And they used two different outputs here, so that way you can layer these one on top of the other. You have two RCA output pairs, and you also have two digital RCA outputs as well. There's also a fader start input and there is USB 2 and 3 so that way you can put two more USB sticks on the back of this bad boy and there's also another USB out port so that way you can use this with different DJ software as a standalone MIDI controller and it works perfectly with Serato DJ we'll get into that a little bit later and it also has your power button it also has your link port there as well so that way you can link two of these bad boys together or you can link more of these bad boys together using a LAN or a different router or you can link them all together using the built-in LAN system that is on the Denon Prime X1800 flagship mixer you also have a Kensington lock here and of course your power cable on the back by the way, the Denon DJ SC5000 Prime came bundled with lots of extra cables. You also get two RCA cables. You get your power cable, you get your USB cable, and you also get a Link RJ45 cable in the box as well. So fully loaded and they give you all the cables you need. They're very professional cables. Everything feels really, really solid and really, really durable. The jog wheel is also a mixture of both metal and plastic. The right around the ring area is made with plastic while the top is like an aluminum top. And everything really just feels really, really secure, really rugged, and definitely, definitely built to last. You also have big recessed feet on the back as well. So everything is just built like it's really meant for club abuse and for the mobile DJ abuse as well. The setup is fairly simple. If you want to use these bad boys by themselves, you can actually download the Denon Engine software to your computer, load all of your music right there, make sure you set up all your cue points and all your beat gridding right there on any device that you have your music on, or you can simply plug in your different devices to the SC5000 and you'll be able to automatically analyze your music right there from your sticks. Now that is a nice revolutionary feature. No other players on the market has that today. You can even take your record box library devices put them in here and they'll create a brand new Denon engine folder so that way it will transfer over all of your things like your playlists your loops and your cue points and also your beat grids we'll get more on that in a little bit later 
So setup is fairly easy when you're using this with the Denon engine software. It is better when you actually do it on your computer because that way you can transfer over more of your playlist correctly. Sometimes it was hit or miss with a different playlist. Sometimes it didn't always get your beat gritting just right. So I definitely advise anybody who's going to play with this extensively to definitely use this on your computer first with the engine software set up all your libraries and everything you need to and you can get going but you can definitely play a whole gig right here on the sc5000 prime without ever even touching the computer setup for engine you can simply plug in your different devices it will take about 40 seconds per song in order to load your full grid and that way you have all of your information there but you can start playing that track immediately as soon as you plug it in and load it right away so really quick cool feature is great for DJs if they want to play back-to-back -back sets with somebody else or if you want to use two different libraries in the mix at the same time setup is also relatively simple when you want to use this bad boy with your computer and with Serato DJ right now all you have to do is download the latest Serato DJ from the Serato DJ website then you can download the drivers for the SC5000 Prime from Denon DJ's website and then you're pretty much ready to go once you plug in your USB you're also going to need a mixer style device such as the X1800 Prime which is also Serato DJ ready you have to plug that in in order to activate the player mode on these decks but then you go straight to the player mode and it does have a lot of information right on the screen from your Serato DJ library which is playing on your computer so setup is very very simple pretty easy it's a nice rugged controller and we're just gonna get into all of the features and functions exactly as we see them and you guys have definitely seen reviews on these already before in the past so we're not gonna go too in-depth in all of the features we're gonna let you guys know exactly what we like and what we don't like so let's get right into it all right, so here it is, the Denon DJ SC5000 Prime. Really, really cool media player we have here. It does not have a CD slot, but as we showed you earlier, it has USB 1, USB 2, and 3 on the back, as well as an SD card slot. Right now, we have an SD card in there, and you can tell that by the different media status that you guys see up here. It has USB, SD card, as you can see highlighted, and then network. You also have a media eject button all the way at the top left corner as well. And we'll get into all the other bells and whistles at the top screen when we zoom in and take you really closely. But right now we're just going to focus on all the normal player attributes. Down here you have your performance pad section. Really, really cool to see this finally on the media player. You have all eight of your performance pads. They're very, very responsive. You have hot cue here and they sound and work really, really well. You can do your dual finger drumming on them with no problems and they just work and feel really, really nice. They're like the mini pads, mini Akai MPC pads that you guys will find out there on the other MPC or Akai lineup mixer. So they work really, really nice, really accurate pads that we have here. Next up you have loop, and this will initiate a loop for any of the different pads that you use here all you have to do is press it to start and then press the same loop button again to stop and it stores that loop as well and you can also do a roll within your loop Really, really cool to be able to do a roll inside of a loop. You also have another looping section that is auto loops, and these are just different varying sizes of loops that are automatically enacted. Then again, you have your roll section, which we just showed you. And then you also have your slicer section, so you can slice this up into different beat sections, and you can play them back. And we also have slicer loop when you press slicer again. Then you have your two parameter buttons. All of these buttons here are rubberized except the shift button. This is like a hard plastic with a metal inlay. And the same for the play pause and the cue button. You also have beat jump backwards and forwards, track skip forwards and backwards as well. And you also have a sensor button here, which is hard plastic with the metal inlay. And this also has a reverse. You have your manual in and out for your looping. And then you have a knob here so you can change your parameters of your auto loop. And you can also move the loop as well. Over here on the right hand side of the player, you guys will see that they have the 
actual pitch slider and it feels really really nice it has a really nice stiff resistance to it right in the middle there's no click but it does have a center light so you can tell when it's back at zero you also have arrow up and down for when you have this in your second layer mode you will know exactly where you need to go with your pitch fader in order to bring it back to where it needs to be so you can start mixing with that particular layer of deck Next up, you have your slip button down here. It's a hard plastic button. You also have your pitch bend buttons down here. They're hard plastic as well. And when you press shift, you're allowed to switch the range from plus or minus 8, 10, 20, 50, and 100. Next up, you have your sync and sync off button when shift is pressed. You also have your master button here. So that way you can make this a master or a synced deck. Then you have your vinyl button here, so that way you can make this act like a jog wheel for vinyl, where you can scratch it on the top, or you can have that unselected or deselected, so that way you can use this as more of a jog wheel style service where you're just nudging the track forward or backward for your beat matching. Next up, you have your start and stop knob here adjustment this will correspond to the play pause button you press play when it's at fast and it'll start right up immediately you press play when it's at slow and it will slowly gradually pick up speed for the track you can also adjust the break time using the same knob as well you also have a wheel adjustment dial here so that way you can determine the feel of the jog wheel you have light all the way so that way you get like a kind of loose type feel to it and then when you have it in the heavy mode, it's more of a draggy type feel with way more tension to it. For the jog wheel itself, it's metal on the top. It has a really cool screen, so that way you can see where your needle position is. You can also see different parameters really quickly. And you also can put in the middle whatever different artwork you want there, as long as you have a 600 by 600 PNG file. And you can place that right into your Denon engine folder. And that will be the artwork here on the front. Or it will be whatever is in your track library, as you can see here on my deck. You also have a lighted LED ring around this. And that can be changed in the utility menu, depending on what layer you're in or what color you want it to be. And you can change it for the other side deck as well, if you're using these with two decks on the other side of your mixer. The jog wheel itself is really, really high. I personally don't like the way that the jog wheel feels when you have it set all the way to light. It's still really, really heavy. And when I'm doing my really fast scratches, it doesn't really feel like vinyl. It feels like it's really sticky, really heavy, and still has more tension to it. It doesn't kind of spin back as much as I would like for it to. When you do that on a Pioneer CDJ 2000 Nexus, it actually spins a little bit more freely, and it actually feels a little bit more vinyl-like as opposed to the SC5000. But for actual mixing, this works perfectly. So all the way at the top of the player, the screen has a nice angle to it. And it's just at a perfect angle so that way you can always see what's going on, even if you're in a dark club or DJ booth environment. All the way at the top left, you have a MIDI eject button. And this is how you safely eject all of your USB or SD cards. Then you have a media status. This is where you can see what you're actually playing from right now. Network, SD, or USB that's on board. Then you have a source button here, so that way you can change that source. You'll have all your other sources listed here right now. I only have a SD card in there, but I also have an icon up here so I can connect to my Serato DJ computer. If you have that USB connected in the back, you will press that button and you'll be able to see it. We'll show you that in one second. Underneath that, you have a shortcuts menu, and this is where you'll be able to change the layer color of your different deck. You also have Q and loop quantization, where you can change the steps of beats. You have your sync mode, which can either be bar, beat, or tempo. Then you have your screen brightness and your player number down here. Below that, you have a layer button, so that way you can change between layer 1 or layer 2, deck A or B, which is on your Denon SC that 5000 Prime. You press the layer button and you'll see the layer button along with the platter ring will change the different color that you have that layer set at, and you have A and B. Next up, what we're looking at right now is just the browsing section. We have no crate set up, but that is a crate right here in the top left. Next up is your history and playlists. Next up would be the tracks that you've added to your prepare list. I'll show you how to do that in one second. And next up you have your different file directory and your browse section so that way you can come up here and search. You have a QWERTY keyboard, you have your filters, genre, artist, album, BPM. So you have many different search parameters that you guys can use here. Up top, you have all of your tracks over here to the right, and you can easily sort them by artist, by album, by your key. 
it's very very cool and intuitive easy to use this section here and when you guys are ready to actually load a track all you have to do is go find the track that you're looking to load and then you can just swipe to the left to load or to right to prepare and that will bring it to that prepare list so we're just gonna load this so now it's loaded on the track and now we're in the actual section of the waveforms of the tracks you can actually zoom into the waveform by just grabbing and pulling it apart just like you would on a cell phone you also have quantize and continue buttons up at the top and you can turn them on and off right here all the way at the bottom you have a touch strip section to that way you can touch strip your way through your track anywhere you want to be in the track right here very very easy to use you can see your time remaining or your time left or you can go with the time already elapsed by changing that option you also have the track information meaning the title and the artist of the set track that's playing you can also use these back forward and the select load knob over here in order to do all your navigation throughout the menus as well if you don't want to use a touch screen or if your hands might just be too sweaty from a rough performance so when you're ready to actually switch over to your different play mode and use this with Serato DJ you lose a lot of different functionality here you won't be able to zoom into the waveform it's just one static waveform you won't be able to grab your songs and load them in nothing like the same experience so I advise anyone who's gonna get these players to use them with the engine software because it's just way better than using this with Serato DJ by itself we'll show you what we mean right now we can go to source we'll press computer it'll have to automatically restart the player to put you into controller mode now it's going to switch into controller mode okay now it's asking you to select which deck you want to use one two three or four like I said earlier you can use this one deck to control all four Serato DJ decks but right now we're just gonna go to the first one so this is the only place that you can actually use the touch area is at the bottom where you can jump in between the different parts of your track but as you can see the waveform is very limited at the top you have your different tracks that you have already sorted on your computer and you can't touch them select them or anything like that you have to use the load and select turn knob here in order to load your tracks up and it's just not as fun not as intuitive when you're using this alone as a standalone player so we'll come here and we'll go back to restart in standalone mode in conclusion the brand new Denon DJ SC 5000 Prime is an excellent flagship multimedia player and it's right now my favorite multimedia player to date it has excellent build quality nice metal top finish definitely built to take a beating really good metal style knobs and posts for everything so it's definitely worthy of a flagship status it also has that gorgeous high rate refresh high resolution touch screen where you can do different things like you can on a smartphone like zoom in the waveforms and throw things into the crate or right into the decks you also have your eight RGB backlit pads and all of your famous performance functions that we're used to seeing on flagship digital DJ controllers. It also has that dual deck layering function so that way two of these bad boys can play four decks and you can only use one of these when you're using Serato DJ to play with all four of your decks at one time. It also has multiple playback options. You have one SD card slot, three USB ports for different USB devices and you also have another USB port so that way you can use this bad boy with your computer and you can use this with Serato DJ. They say the tractor compatibility is coming out soon but we haven't heard anything about that yet but we'll let you know once that's a reality. It also has onboard track analysis meaning anybody with any music on a USB drive or on an SD card can easily just plug it in and start playing right away. On the downside, the track analysis function that's on board is not perfect. I didn't always get my beat grids to line up perfectly with my beats, and I also was missing some of the playlist structure that I usually have on my record box files. So everything is not perfect with the onboard track analyzation, but you can definitely pull up with just your USB stick with music on it and definitely rock out a party. My other gripe with the unit is the jog wheels. The jog wheels are just a little bit too weighted for me. Even at their lightest, lightest setting, I still wasn't able to pull off my super fast scratches and it just didn't feel as good as what's out there on the Pioneer CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. That's a little bit more mechanical than this but that mechanical feel makes it more real and more feel like real vinyl than the jog wheel that's found here on the SC5000 Prime.
Other than that though, it's an excellent forte into the flagship realm of the DJ booth and Denon DJ really should pat themselves on the back for doing a lot of things that the current flagship kings do not do. They're lacking in the RGB backlit pads, they're lacking in a gorgeous screen, they don't have the dual layer functions, and this has all of those functions and then some. So for more on the written review, you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash DJS, or you can click at the link in this video description. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like videos like this. Make sure you guys subscribe so that way you know when more videos are coming out. And make sure you guys keep watching because we got a lot of NAM coverage coming up for you guys from next week's show. And as always, thanks for watching.